Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here from Epsid. So, in this uh, short video I will um, highlight some, some new features um, provided for this uh, open source starter build with Flask on top of uh, Vault dashboard. Now the product uh, has been updated to, um, to have a simplified code base. Also the, the product can be deployed live on render without much effort uh, because the, the code base uh, is enhanced with um, usable continuous integration, continuous deployment flow. And also uh, we, we've commit some small improvements regarding the, the Docker, Docker setup. So in order to, to use the product, might be a good idea to access documentation, which uh, also was uh, recently updated. All the features are listed here on top of the page. And uh, we can see that um, the, the code base comes with, uh, I think, some nice features like uh, silent feedback to, to SQLite. This means that um, if the um, uh, MySQL um, configuration is not properly managed, uh, for, for instance, uh, the, the password is not provided or even the MySQL driver or server is not um, available, the application knows how to fall back silently to SQLite just to, to have a successful execution of the product. Uh, other, other things, uh, page compression. So in production, the, um, uh, the application ships the HTML compressed. And also uh, regarding the deployment, the product can be deployed live on render without, without much effort. Okay, let's um, download the source code and uh, execute the, the application um, locally using Docker. Uh, of course, the, the code base, as all other Flask um, starters, we provide uh, Docker by default. And also um, this uh, continuous integration, continuous deployment flow for render. Okay, let's uh, access the, the source code. Once the source code is uh, available in the local file system, we need to navigate in the, in the root of the project and simply follow up the the instructions as uh, from the configure uh, from the documentation i will copy this uh, this command and simply start the the product using docker the product um, is is that is cross tested in uh, in different environments like uh, linux uh, mac os and and also Windows, so uh, we expect to, to run on all those uh, environments. In case anyone have issues, feel free to um, access Epsid and uh, ask for support. Let's uh, access the application in the browser because the Docker is already executed. We can see here that um, the application makes requests. Let's uh, create a new user. Okay, once the um, uh, user is created, we, we are redirected to the sign-in and uh, we should be able to access the, um, the private pages. So, uh, this is the UI, this is built on top of Booster 5, this is designed by Tinsberg and uh, in my opinion looks amazing. Okay, let's uh, go back to the... Um, uh, to the repository and um, just to make this uh, this video more useful as I said before the product is enhanced with uh, deployment scripts so basically is this CIML that um, informs render how to um, what environment to use for this application also the entry point into the into the into the app in order to be successfully executed using Unicore Okay, I will copy the URL of the repository and go here uh, on my render dashboard to the blueprint section. I will create a new blueprint, simply drop here the, the URL. Now render analyzes the, the product 
and uh, based on the UML detects the, the type of the application and we need to confirm the action from this from this point basically the um, uh, the deployment the live deployment should simply be successful for newcomers render it's a um, let's say uh, heroku like deployment platform but it, in my opinion it's an improved version and also they they have um, uh, provides a decent pricing and all other other things you can use the render to deploy react full stack applications and all other things and uh, we we select uh, render from a long list with the deployment providers and uh, we we stick to do, to render and also all the application that apps generates are compatible with this platform and can be deployed uh, without uh, without efforts okay now the now render um, uh, successfully build the project uh, we have here this green flag that informs us the application is up and running and can be accessed in the, in the browser. Let's uh, take a look. We can uh, we can see the same here as as the, in the local environment. Let's uh, create a new user. So the application, application is live. This is the URL task, vault, whatever, on render. And uh, from this point, uh, the application is, the repository is simply connected to this, uh, uh, to this uh, deployment version uh, using the continuous integration flow. And uh, we can test this just by updating something in the footer, whatever. And once we save that change and the, the um, changes committed on GitHub, uh, render will trigger a new a new build. Let's uh, do this. Okay, I will access directly the sources on um, on GitHub. I will navigate to the templates, open up the the footer, and uh, just uh, update this uh, this label. Oh, sorry, I was not uh, in the edit mode. Okay, I will commit the changes and uh, simply go back to the to the um, render dashboard. We can see here that uh, render automatically triggers a new a new build and this is the commit uh, text I will access the deplo live deployment logs and the new version of the product should be up and running in one or two minutes I think this this feature is quite useful because you you are not forced to make any low level server configuration no uh, head ash with the ssl certificates all those uh, low level things are managed by by render and uh, also compared with other uh, deployment providers like aws and uh, azure that are super super nice also uh, i really i prefer render because it's um, it's more beginners friendly and also the the ui is intuitive and uh, even a beginner knows how to put the put the repository in uh, on render and simply go live with the with the product without any other other things okay let's uh, access the the product we need to create again the, the user uh, 
okay um this happens because um, uh, chromi uh, suspects the site be as being uh, as being unsecure because it has this uh, random string in the in the in the name and uh just to bypass this i will uh, access uh, the site using uh, using mozilla which is less uh, restrictive okay if we go here to the to the footer we can see the new the new label for the um, uh, for the footer so basically at this point we have the um, the new version of the website uh, um, deployed live so guys uh, thanks for watching feel free to play around with the with this uh, free product another important thing is the is the license the product uh, is shipped under the MIT license, which means you can uh, uh, use the code base for commercial projects. Simply remove all the mentions, absent mentions from footer from other places. Uh, feel free to, of course, to, to use the product for learning activities. In case anyone have issues with the product, simply go to Absid. We have here the, the support page and uh, the official uh, Funnels are this email, and also we can um, assist you one to one on Discord, where we have also a super nice uh, community with more than 1,000 members. So, guys, thanks again for watching. Adrian here from Absid, and um, as always, I wish you all a super, super day. Bye.